All right, show one. It's the brothers from the G Moose, North Carolina. Can't back with another video. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekar Kodash. Double arms for our apostles and the elders of the great millstone, teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well. In peace and blessing, so for like the nation of Israel, you know. Lord's willing, uh, this video records and goes through, you know, Abaratza. You know, this is our second take on it, or like third take, you know, so, but it's all the Lord, you know. But, um, Lord's willing, but, um, Lord's willing, you brothers are edified, you know, to the spirit and power, Yabai Shema Shai, we're going to go into a lesson on how the law, statute, commandments of the Bible are not done away with, you know. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the children of Israel still need to be keeping the law, statute, commandments of the Bible, you know. And where are some of those laws, you know. Where are some of the laws that our people need to be keeping in, in this wicked, sinful kingdom called America? You don't need to be shaving your beard. Mm -hmm. You don't really, um, you don't need to be eating shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster, all these abominable foods, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, sleeping with the next man's woman, um, making baldness upon your head, worshiping, uh, celebrating these false pagan holidays, uh, false pagan days, you know, such as Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, your birthday, Mother's Day. Uh, and you certainly don't need to be worshiping any other God, save Yah by Shema Shai. These are all laws that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans can easily keep. You know, of course you can't be a sodomite in this. Uh, of course you can't go around putting the deaf sodomites. You know, you can uh, you can um, take part in the Sabbath to the best of your abilities. You know, some brothers got work on the Sabbath. You know, mm -hmm. but the law as a whole, you know, is not done away with. Get judges. Um. Get the book of Judges. This is uh, the book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. Mm -hmm. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawn water. Yeah, the noise of archers talking about those nuclear missiles. Yep. It says, in the place of drawn waters. What's that talking about? It's talking about our captivity, our slavery here in America. Go ahead. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Yeah, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, you know. And when you rehearse something, it's never perfect, you know. So we're trying, we're rehearsing the righteous acts before y'all, before the kingdom, you know. This is the definition of rehearsal. A practice or trial performance for, uh, or, it's like a, a practice or trial performance of a play or other work for later public performance, you know? Yep. And that later public performance that that's uh, when, when, that's going to take place when we're in the kingdom of heaven, when the Lord, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shai puts, our law, puts, the, puts his law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to finish that, bro? Even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages mm -hmm. in Israel. Yeah, and the righteous acts is keeping the laws, keeping the commandments of the Lord, all to the best of our abilities. Mm -hmm. Can you um get whatever you got? Go this is a Sirach, chapter 15, verse 20. He have commanded no man to do wickedly. Yeah, so the Lord, what's wickedness? Breaking the law of such commandments, you know, sinning according to the Bible. Because mm -hmm. sin, you know, whether you people want to believe it or not, you can read First John 3 and 4. Sinning is breaking the law. You already got it? Yeah, you might as well get it. Yeah. You know, sinning is breaking the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible, which, you know, we're about to get. Yep. This is First John. This is First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Yeah, so whoever, whosoever committed sin is talking about you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, because you were the only ones given the law. Mm-hmm. For sin is the transgression of the law. Yeah, so you're breaking the law, statutes, commandments. You're, when you're committing sin, you're breaking the law, statutes, commandments. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know? So when you go out, you know, on Christmas Eve, you know, and you're putting the ornaments on the tree, you already got the Christmas tree at your house, you're breaking the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. When you order mm -hmm. bacon on your turkey sandwich, you know, you're breaking, and you eat it, you're breaking the law, statutes, commandments, you know? When you roll up a blunt and smoke it with your friend, you're breaking the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. Get Romans 6 and, you know, 23 real quick. Mm -hmm. This is Romans. 
This is Romans chapter 6. Verse 22. Oh, uh, 23. This is Romans. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. This is Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the ra wages of sin is death. Yeah, for the wages of sin is death, you know? So your reward, your payoff for committing sin is you dying, you know? Mm -hmm. By the way, is these race riots, these fam uh, famine that's coming to America. These, um, there's going to be a race riot that comes to America. Basically, the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai, you people ignorantly call it God and Jesus Christ, is bringing calamities, you know, to America, you know, plagues, destruction, you know? And some of those things are famine, race riots, um, martial law troops. The RFID chip is going to be meant, uh, uh, implemented, and everyone who doesn't have the Lord on the side on on their side isn't going to be protected when that's implemented. Because the government, the so-called white man Esau Elam, is going to be putting anyone to death who doesn't take that chip. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, and finish that. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life. Yeah, but the gift of the Lord is eternal life. Uh, you know, finish that Sirach out and then get brute. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is Sirach chapter, chapter 15, verse 20. He have commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. Yeah, so he didn't command you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans not to keep the law. He commands you to keep the law, you know? Mm -hmm. Neither have you get any man license. Look up that word license. It means permission. He didn't give you permission just to sin, you know? And we proved what sin is. Sinning is breaking the law, statute, commandments, you know? Mm -hmm. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to come out, uh, come out of the doctrine of America, the false doctrine that the laws are not done away with and come back to what the Bible is saying. You know, not what us, not what we are saying, what the Lord is saying in the scriptures. Right. Go ahead. This is, yep, this is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And the law that endure forever. So this is the book of commandments of the Lord, you know. Uh, this holy Bible, you know, mm -hmm. King James Version 16 and 11, including the Apocrypha, it said in the law that endure forever, you know, forever sounds like forever in me. It doesn't sound like a period of time. It sounds like forever, you know, mm -hmm. we're supposed to keep these law statutes commandments from generation to generation. You know, that's why the Lord put them here on this earth. This is how the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, wants the earth to be ran, you know. Under the ordinance of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans following the law of Sash commandments. Yep. All they that keep it shall come to life. Yeah, all they that keep it shall come to life. All those that, you know, keep the law of Sash commandments, you know, to the best of their abilities, who aren't sinning, sinning willfully, because, you know, we sin every day, you know, mix fabrics, you know. You know, even the laws that we uh can keep, we're still messing with those, you know? We, but we try mm -hmm. to the best of our ability and repent every day, you know? Constantly asking the Lord for forgiveness. Good. All they that keep it shall come to life, mm -hmm. but such as leave it shall die. Yeah, but such as leave it shall die, you know? So you're breaking the law of that commandments, the Lord's going to put you to death. Get um, Just get two more, bro. We're going to close out. Get Deuteronomy mm -hmm. 11 and 1. And on First John five and three. Oh, yeah, I got that. Uh, Deuteronomy eleven and one. Yep. Yeah. I don't know why I got that. Psalms. Oh, you got Psalms nineteen and seven. Yeah. You can read that real quick since you're holding. Okay. This is Psalms, chapter nineteen, verse seven. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh huh. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Mm hmm. Making wise the simple. Yeah, so the laws of the Most High are perfect, you know? And when it says making the wise the simple, what? Because ultimately, the, if you read in the book of, you can read in the book of Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, it tells you that the law, you know, is what makes us a wise and understanding people, you know? Mm -hmm. The way we conduct ourselves, the way we live our lives on the earth, you know? Yep. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 1. Yep. Therefore, thou shalt love the Lord thy power. Mm hmm. You know what love is, real quick? Yep. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Mm hmm. For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments. Yep. 
And his commandments are not grievous. Yeah, so you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, a majority of you go to church on Sundays and you confess that you love the Lord. But if you truly love the Lord, what? You'd be keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, you know? But that's mm -hmm. the love of the Most High, you know? Go ahead. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, like the scriptures say, uh, his commandments are not grievous. So it shouldn't grieve you. Uh, it shouldn't make you sad that you got to stop smoking weed or uh, sleeping with the next man's wife. Or it shouldn't grieve you that you got to uh, put away your old way. It should make you happy that you're falling away of understanding. That's you know right. That? Mm -hmm. And finish this off. This is Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thou shalt love the Lord thy power yep. and keep his charge mm -hmm. and his statutes and his judgments and his commandments always. Yeah, always, you know. Not when you feel like it, not when it's convenient for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're supposed to constantly be meditating on the law of the Lord. Get, oh, we'll close out in Ecclesiastes 12. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to constantly be meditating on the law of the Lord, you know. And we could bring out more scriptures, but it's getting kind of late. You know, we're just going to bring out, you know, go straight to the point. Yep. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. This is going to sum up what the whole lesson is about. Go ahead. Fear Yahweh mm -hmm. and keep his commandments. Yeah, what does the scripture say? They that fear the Lord would not disobey his word, and they that love him would keep his ways, you mm -hmm. know? So it says, therefore, fear the Lord and keep his commandments. You know, keep the law slash commandments of the Bible, you know, to the best of your ability. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know? That's right. Go ahead. For this is the whole duty of man. Yeah, for this is the whole duty while you're put on the earth, you know, to serve the Lord, you know, to do what the Lord wants you to do, you know. Mm -hmm. The Lord puts you on the earth. He knows how the the right way, he knows the most beneficial way for you to live on this earth, and, it's to, and this is to keep it, keep his commandments, you know. Mm -hmm. You want to say anything before we close out? I mean, let's get it. You know, Lord's willing, you brothers, edify, you know, so-called, uh, the Lord's willing, you brothers, edify. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekar Kodash. The bonus our apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well and peace and blessings to all elect of the nation of Israel. Next time we see, Shalom. Mm -hmm.